Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you super quickly how to make a vignette in Flash. So first things first, I'm going to make a rectangle because I'm going to need to make a border so that I know when my vignette is going past my stage size boundaries. So I'm going to make it the same size as my stage size, which is 1280 by 720. And of course, you can use whatever stage size you want. I'm just using uh, this resolution for this example. So I'm going to go to Align and just make sure it's aligned to the center. All right, so I'm going to go and rename this layer very quickly to Border and then just lock it. OK, so I'm going to make a layer underneath. And this is going to be for the material used for the vignette. So I'm going to make it black and no outline. So one very important thing to know about the rectangle is you want to make it quite a bit bigger than the actual stage size. Uh, so you want to leave a bit of a gap here. And the reason behind this is because I'm going to be using a blur effect. And when you use blur effects on images, it tends to erode the sides a bit. So you want a bit of a gap to compensate for the erosion. All right, brilliant. So I'm just going to quickly name this rectangle. And I'll lock it as well. So I'm going to make a layer in between these two. And this is going to be the actual shape of the vignette. So I'm going to make sure well, I usually use ovals. You can use whatever shape you want. Um, sometimes in the past I use rectangle shape for my vignettes, but I usually use ovals and hours. This is the common shape for a, a vignette. So I'm going to make a red outline. Okay, so I usually make a very wide oval shape for my vignette shape. And I'm going to double click it and just make sure it's aligned to the center. And I usually what I do is I just make sure that the gap between the side and the top is roughly the same. So I'm just going to need to make it slightly taller. Let's see, it's centered again. All right, brilliant. That looks quite equal. So I'm going to just select it all, right click and cut, and then just delete the middle layer entirely. And then I'm going to go back to my rectangle layer, make sure you unlock it and then edit, paste in place. All right, so I'm just going to select the inside the oval and delete it and then delete the outline as well. All right, brilliant. So I'm just going to select my new shape I've got and then right click, convert to symbol, make sure it's a movie clip and then go to properties and add a blur filter. Okay, I'm going to make sure the quality is high. Uh, I'm just going to ramp up the blur to the, get to the desired effect I want. And I usually do it until the oval starts uh, going outside my uh, stage size. So that's why it's important to have the border. And also, as you can see, it is eroding the sides like I mentioned before. All right, so that's quite a good shape. So you'll notice also uh, that the corners are very dark still. And usually when you make vignettes, you don't want the corners to be completely black or very dark gray. So I'm just going to select the whole thing and then go and just go to style and change the alpha a bit. All right, so I'm just going to just turn it down a bit so you get a bit of lighter corners. I think about 75 will do nicely. All right, brilliant, it's looking very nice. Uh, one thing to note is, um, obviously I'm recording this with a screen capture program, so the video is gonna be a bit compressed. So when you watch this back on YouTube, you'll probably notice a bit of banding on this vignette. And for those unfamiliar with banding, it's basically when you get these sort of concentric circles around your gradient. And this is mainly due to video compression that this is happening. Uh, but you will find when you use vignettes, there will be some banding, but it won't be as bad as um, what you're seeing right now. So just make sure it doesn't put you off, okay? <laughs> um, Alright, brilliant. So I'm just going to delete my border layer because I don't need it anymore. Because I'm happy with my vignette. I'm just going to quickly hide the vignette and then insert layer. And I've just got a stock image of some trees. So that's the image without a vignette, and then that's it with the vignette. 
as you can see it creates a very nice effect and it really draws focus into the center of the image so there you go a uh, really quick tutorial how to make a vignette uh, i hope you found it useful and as always if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future please subscribe also if you would like to leave some suggestions for future tutorials just leave them in the comment section below on this video or just send me a message on youtube and i'll get back to you thanks